Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I wanna do something different this time. I wanted to do 10 great guitar players that could sing. Now, obviously there's some exceptions. There's a lot of singers that can play guitar, but I wanted to stay focused mainly on guitar as first instrument and singing that came after. Now that's actually what was my case. I started out as a guitar player, as many of you know, uh, and then I taught myself how to sing. Now for any of you interested in this subject, you can click here to check out my singing program called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else, and it'll walk you through step by step the process of how to be a great singer. Now, again, I started out as an instrumentalist, and I suspect there's a lot of instrumentalists out there, guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, uh, that would love to learn how to sing, but are a little shy and a little timid or don't think that they can do it. Well, let me have some news for you, or I have some news for you. That's just not true. You absolutely can teach yourself how to sing. I did it, I have a ton of students, and in fact, I favor instrumentalists that do my course because they understand what it takes to put in the time to be a great singer because they've already done that on their instrument. So with that said, um, I also want to say that there are some straddlers, so maybe some that are more kind of 50% singer, 50% guitar player. I didn't want to exclude those. And stay tuned, stay around for after the 10 um, top great guitar players, I'm going to do some really great special mentions that I wished I could have brought into the top 10. And these are in no specific order other than I tried to keep uh, the ones that were more guitar as first instrument towards the top um, so we can kind of see a progression of that and then great singing as well. So again, keep a lookout though. Look for these guitar players that sing because I have a, a saying and the saying is that a singer is only a singer because they have the guts to be one. You heard me right, I said a singer is only a singer because they have the courage to actually try to learn to sing and be a front man, right? Um, I have a whole um, video on this, I'll put in the description tag, it's called Can Anyone Really Learn to Sing or Can Anyone Learn to Sing? And you should check out that video because I think it's very enlightening uh, to the subject matter. So with that said, uh, we're gonna start with John Mayer. Now, John didn't really start taking the guitar seriously until he was about 13 years old. I guess he was inspired by the Back to the Future movie where Martin McFly, I guess, plays Johnny B. Good. You might know Michael J. Fox did that, and he was intrigued with the instrument, so um, he started out wanting to be a guitar player. So with that said, let's check out John Mayer. Here we go. No, I'm not colorblind. I know the world is black and white. Okay, next up is Prince. And that is his real name, by the way. Actually, he was named after his father's jazz combo, Prince Rogers Nelson, hence the name Prince. Maybe that's why he wanted to change his name to the artist, I don't know. But nonetheless, uh, Prince was just a phenomenally talented guy and uh, absolutely a great guitar player. So you've probably known him as, you know, Kiss, you know, or, or you know, Raspberry Beret or whatever, great songwriter, Purple Rain, of course, uh, but was a multi-instrumentalist, multi just an exceptionally talented guy. And uh, with that said, we're gonna check out Prince. Okay, next we have James Hetfield from Metallica. Now, James actually was a janitor before he started playing in Metallica. He actually co-founded the band back in 1981. Uh, and he taught himself how to play guitar, then he taught himself how to sing. So I'm telling you guys, you can do this. You instrumentalists out there, you can teach yourself how to sing and you can be the front man or at least express your own songs like James and Metallica has done. Let's check out James. <laughs> All right, coming in next is Eric Clapton. What a legendary guitar player, singer Eric is. You know, I thought about, gosh, what would it be like if Layla was sung by someone else or White Room or Crossroads or in this case, Tears in Heaven. Like, you know, you really think about that and it's interesting because the whole personality and the sensitivity and just the, the passion of the song really kind of came from his voice and I think if someone else sang it, I don't think they would have been the same tune. So I'm grateful that Eric did 
did learn how to sing. Uh, and a lot of these guys too, by the way, they actually take vocal lessons and they do their vocal warm-ups so that they can keep their voices and uh, be able to deliver great songs to you guys. So with that said, let's check out Eric Clapton. <laughs> I saw you in heaven. And of course, we have the world famous, incredibly legendary SRV Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, Stevie is just an exceptional blues singer, but obviously he's known for his amazing blues guitar playing. So I don't need to talk a lot about Stevie. Let's just check it out. <laughs> Next, we have mega legendary guitarist Jimi Hendrix. Now, I want you guys to think about something for me, okay? Um, Jimi was not a great singer, let's face it, but it's what he did with his voice that made it amazing. You think of Jimi as the combo of Purple Haze and, you know, Jimi Hendrix, right? So you think of them inextricably linked to each other because of the personality that he had with his voice, the character, his phrasing, his passion, his emotion. What would Hendrix songs be without Jimi singing his own tunes because no one can really express your music like you uh, and I, I wonder what would happen if he handed that off to someone else it might have been kind of strange but with that said let's check out Jimi Hendrix <laughs> Okay, coming up next, we have Jeff Buckley. Now, a lot of people don't know that Jeff started out as a session guitar player in Los Angeles. No kidding. Um, he wasn't really known as much for his singing and his songwriting and performing abilities as much as he was cracking out a living as a guitar player, a session guitarist in Los Angeles. So he became known for his, uh, his musical prowess later. And uh, with that said, let's check out Jeff Buckley. All right, next in we've got Brad Paisley. Now this brother can play, let me tell you. As guitar being my first instrument, watching this guy, he is amazing. Some of this stuff kind of reminds me of Danny Gatton. I don't know if you guys remember him or not. Um, but anyway, just an extraordinary player. And again, could you imagine if someone else sang Brad Paisley's songs, a thing so near and dear to him, like the song about his dad, and you know, gosh, you just, you know, I just can't imagine anyone else doing it. Plus that he's funny, and his character, and his personality comes out in his playing and his singing. So. Let's check out Brad Paisley. Okay, next in is my cousin, Sammy Hagar. Now, um, a lot of people don't think of Sam as a really strong guitar player, but the guy really practices his acts and really puts his guitar where his mouth is. Wah, wah. Uh, really, seriously, you know, when you check out this piece, uh, most people think of Sam as a singer for Van Halen or himself or early Montrose. And he's also, think about this, he's been able to play guitar next to Ronnie Montrose and Eddie Van Halen. That ought to tell you something about his guitar playing. So with that said, let's check out Sammy Hagar.
Another incredible guitar player singer is Gary Moore. Now Gary, obviously we know him from Thin Lizzy and his solo stuff. I love his uh, guitar solos on things like Shape of Things. In fact, I learned that note for note as a kid. Uh, but his guitar playing is so great, it kind of overshadows his singing. But when you listen to Shape of Things and try to sing along with it, you go, wow, the guy can play guitar great and he sings great. So with that said, check out Gary Moore. Coming in at number one is Richie Kotzen. Now, Richie's a personal favorite of mine. You may think differently, so if you do, please feel free to put your comments in the comment sections and make recommendations. It's how I am able to do these videos and keep cool videos coming to you. Uh, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon for uh, updating videos that'll come your way. And you could, instrumentalists, in this case, guitar players out there, um, if you really wanna learn how to sing, check out my singing course. You can check it out here at KenTamblinVocalAcademy.com or just stop by my singing forums. We have like 15,000 people in there right now with great moderators helping people just getting started wanting to learn how to sing. We can answer all kinds of questions for you and help you on your journey to start singing for yourself instead of depending on someone else. So uh, also stick around. I've got some really great honorable mentions after this. And you know what guys? I, yes, I could have included John Fogarty and Brian Adams and Mark Farner and like tons of really strong guitarists that uh, could also sing incredibly well. But um, we only had a top 10 here, but I am gonna do some awesome, awesome honorable mentions coming up. And if you think I missed anybody, please feel free to put that in the comments sections as well. Because I do all this by request. So when I see an idea that pops up, it helps me help you come up with a cool video. So with that said, let's check out Richie Kotzen. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around for the honorable mentions. Okay, until next time, peace out.
turn my day around. If you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay? Thanks guys. Peace out.